Egg Stampin' Sharon. Today we're going to be making a really fun fold card using a brand new stamp set from Stampin' Up! called Above the Clouds. So cute little set. I think you're going to like this card. If you've not already subscribed to my channel, you can do so below. After you subscribe, hit the notification bell. I would love to hear your comments. I enjoy reading your comments so much. Um, I hear things like, I feel like I'm stamping with a friend. I, I, I just love that kind of stuff. So let me know what you think about this card as we make it together. So this is the card that I made um, and thought I would make a video on it. We're gonna change it and I'm gonna show you why. I wanted it to all be bl balmy blue but it's, it's a lot, <laughs> there's a lot happening here. So we're gonna change it on the video. And so I, wa I wanted to go ahead and share it with you so that you would see um, that if you try to do that, it's just, it's just a lot of blue happening. Um, and I still didn't even finish the inside of the card because I need to put a layer of Whisper White in there, but I decided to stop and we're gonna change it up a bit. So I'm using Above the Clouds, it's a brand new stamp set. And you can get it as a bundle with this fun balloon punch. Um, you save 10% when you do that. You don't have to buy the punch, but I don't know why you wouldn't because it is a super fun punch. I have a layer of Whisper White and I wanted to show you how I stamp the small balloons and the clouds going on. So I have my Whisper White. This is actually three and three quarters by five inches. So what I was figuring out is the clouds, there's a group of three and there's a group of three balloons. And I wanted them to be, um, you know, kind of offset from each, each other, but I was starting to struggle. So I thought, okay, let's add that in the video. If I struggle with something, you might, let's pull this down just a little bit. So what I did was I alternated balloons, I'm gonna go ahead and stamp a few down here, and clouds. See what I mean? A row of balloons, a row of clouds. Because if I just stamped all the balloons, I was, I was having issues. Um, they were, I didn't have enough room for the clouds or something like that. So like I said, if I struggle with something, I want to try to help you guys so that you don't struggle. Let me figure out the issues and help you. All right, so that's what I did. And then um, I used, let me move this out of the way. I used lots of Stampin' Blends to color all those balloons. Stampin' Up! sells this little um, Stampin' Blends holder now and you can get it. Um, the rest of the, there's a bunch of other storage options that are coming in July. But I love it for right here at my video. So that way I don't have all these colors just all over my craft space. It keeps it all nice and organized. So I already colored all of these, except I just realized I didn't color the little basket. I'm gonna do that really quick. Tiny little baskets. You probably wouldn't even have noticed if I didn't tell you. Um, but I went ahead and colored it for the uh, time sake of the video. I do have a, um, it is a, a half sheet of the Whisper White Thick. I prefer uh, using the Stampin' Blends and all of that on the Whisper White. I just, I don't know, I, it feels like it colors better or something like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to stamp my balloon and I want you to notice that I'm stamping more to the right because when I go to punch this is what's gonna happen I'm gonna get I'm gonna get the little basket I'm gonna get the flag I'm gonna get the balloon so if I started punching if I had stamped right there I would waste that paper all right so we want to start to the right speaking of this template I have heard that a lot of people like to have the template and then they stamp the balloon and they stamp the, say the basket. And then when they punch, they punch it all at the same time. Guess what? <laughs> I, I tried it and I just couldn't do it. Let's see if I can do it. 
because I don't know if you can see, I got the black. So let's see if I can stamp my basket. We'll try it. I might get lucky. Because the basket is um, a little tiny, tiny thing. So I will be good if I can if I can get it stamped in there. Ha! Huh, I did pretty good. It's only because you guys are with me today. All right, so now I'm going to punch this out. And I, I'm not going to be using the flag, so it's kind of a mute point. It's just going to punch, but that's okay. It's not too much of a waste. There's my little basket. Oh, so tiny, so tiny. Whoops. I don't know why I moved that out of the way. All right, let's cover this up. All right, so I'm going to use, this is um, crumb cake. This is, I'm sorry, soft suede. This is the lighter color, and I'm gonna color that basket. Hey, good tip, why don't you color the basket before you punch it out? Ha, huh. yeah, I should have done that, because it's so tiny. All right, now we're gonna pick some colors, and I decided that I liked I like the darker um, of the Stampin' Blends. I'm not using them as blends. I'm just using them to color. I love the Stampin' Blends. I still use my uh, water-based markers, but not as much as I do these. <laughs> I've really gotten away um, from it. Um, I'm excited to, uh, to know that there's some new ones in the catalog, so I'll be adding to my stash. Um, they're not quite available in all colors yet that Stampin' Up! sells the cardstock and the stamp pad. So that's why we still need our Stampin' Write markers. But if I have a choice, I grab these. I love hot air balloons. We used to take the kids when they were little to the hot air balloon festival. We'd have to get up like at 4.30 in the morning because they would do the glow right before sunrise. Super fun times. I'm sure my kids, they probably don't do that anymore, but I loved going. Um, I love taking the kids and seeing all the hot air balloons. I really want to get out to Albuquerque. I live in Southern Arizona now, so there's no reason why I don't get up to uh, New Mexico and go see those balloons. Let's see, let's do a blue one. Okay, we are all done coloring. Nice bright colors. All right, so I have my layers, and this time I went with the Whisper White Thick. It is four and a quarter by 11, scored and folded at five and a half, just like a normal. Then this piece, this is Balmy Blue, and this is four inches, so it's gonna be a nice layer on there. Um, it is scored, it's four inches by 10 and a quarter. Look in the description box below. I will have all of the measurements down there so you don't have to worry about it. Um, and then I scored at five and I believe at two and a half, okay? So we're going to see how this all looks. We're gonna start layering everything. Yep, yep, yep. And then I'm going to add, I'm not gonna add any color down here. Here's what we're gonna do. Remember, I'm changing up my original design. Don't lose the basket. I just want to stamp some clouds. And I know clouds are not blue, but <laughs> if I'd have just stamped them with like craft white on my white, it, you wouldn't have seen it. So I was like, okay, fine, they're gonna be blue. So don't fuss at me that I didn't do white clouds. <laughs> Okay, so back to our scrap. I am using, I'm pulling in another punch that we have. It's called uh, Pretty Label. And I just thought it looked like a cloud. That's the reason why I grabbed it. Just gonna punch this. Q. 
keep closing up my ink pad because I don't want to get something in it. I, I tell you, I struggle with black. I just seem to get it all over the place. Let your dreams soar. Ooh, okay. love it. Okay, so we're gonna add this on with some dimensionals. See, doesn't it look like a cloud? I just thought it looked like a cloud. Okay, um, we're gonna add some snail. We're going to add this on here. Give that a good crease. And then we're going to add this layer. This is our balloon. get our big balloon and our itty bitty basket we're gonna put a mini dimensional on the back of the basket and we're gonna put two balloons oh I hope I remember to tell you I made a boo-boo on the other card and I was like I'm gonna show them what I did remember when I said I was struggling with the black ink today I was just I mean I don't even have well, there's some, but I don't, you know, I didn't have any on my fingers and I got a smear on my card after I colored it. So if I'm not the only one that does that. All right. So on my other card, let me grab it. Where is it? Oh, so on this one, I didn't pay attention. I really needed the balloon to be higher. So make sure you fold it up like this. Don't do that. And we're gonna come up here. Oh, we don't wanna cover up all of our balloons. Shoot, I think we're going to. Oh, well, let's just do it right here. Oh, we gotta leave room for the basket. Okay. All right, well, let's put it right here, okay? And then we're gonna get our basket. And I just have to use something to help me line it up because it's tiny. I'm going to attach it to my balloon, okay? All right, now let's go back to this card where I made the boo-boo, and you know what? I may even, <laughs> I think I'll take it. Okay, so let me show you the boo-boo first. All right, so underneath this balloon, I had black ink, okay? So I stamped the balloon and I cut it out with scissors and I added it, okay? So you couldn't see the boo-boo. If you do the same thing, just remember that tip, okay? Now, here's another tip. I want that balloon. See, you can see the black right there. Because I need some more color over here. Did you know you can just snip those off like that with your scissors? And I snip it really close to the card layer so that it gets most of the snail, uh, most of the snail, most of the uh, dimensional off. Let's see, where do we want it? How about right there? Okay, there we go. Now we have our double easel card. Isn't that cute? I hope you like this card. I do. I like it better than I did this one. I don't know. It was just too much blue happening. So I like this one better. Thanks for watching. I hope that you can see all the possibilities, not with just this fun fold, but also with the stamp set. And like I said, I'm a punch girl. I love punches. So happy stamping, y'all.